Hi guys, welcome back to Inky Vapor. I'm John, and uh, today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Watofo Ice Cubed, which is um, a glass dripping atomizer that you can see there. Um, it's got a velocity style deck. Surprise, surprise, these days everything's got a velocity style deck. Um, top airflow, so uh, very similar kind of airflow to the support by Watofo and some you know, various other. Uh, dripping atomizers as well um, very reasonably priced it's coming out at about the sort of 22 25 pound mark what you'd expect from Watofo really um, so what we'll do is we'll go down and uh, take a quick uh, look at it up close and uh, then we'll come back and I'll tell you what I think of it so uh, see you in a bit Okay, so uh, here we've got the rather battered box uh, from the uh, Ice Cube by Watofo. Um, I ripped this while I was unpackaging it, so I'll just get rid of that. Inside, got some cards, some general stuff about the bits and stuff. We've got some spare O-rings, some uh, mesh anti-spit back guards, and various different. O rings for the uh, for the actual RDA itself, and um, a full set of uh, spare grub screws in there as well. Uh, and it comes with its own little Allen key for the grub screws. So the deck, as you can see, there's the O ring that, that you can change that to the the blue or the red. I've kept it the clear ones because I think it makes more sense with a clear tank. Uh, but obviously you can change it to make things all matchy matchy if that's what you like um, we've got a velocity deck reasonably large po uh, post holes which I let me have a look they are two, dia uh, two mil in diameter so they're fairly reasonable size and you've got grub screws there now the grub screws have been pretty good they're not stripped or anything and the actual allen key has been reasonably good as well if you can see down the bottom there you've got a, a peak insulator and this is 30 30 millimeters for it sort of diagonally approximately across um, but obviously it sort of sits as sort of similar to a 22 mil um, so that's the base just pop that out of the way okay we've got the glass section and the uh, and the top cap this is the uh, glass barrel actually I'll just take all these bits out uh, save only the box then okay so here we've got the uh, glass uh, main section for the ta uh, for the uh, RDA um, it's decent quite thick glass it's heat resistant um, and it's kind of beveled at the corner so it's not sharp corners or anything and uh, it's all been ground and smoothed out quite nicely okay so here's the uh, the the top cap okay and as you can see I'll just point here with the point with the Allen key that's where your air comes in and then it comes out at the bottom down here now this section here once you've actually screwed your drip tip you've got a normal you've got like a, a wide bore drip tip or a uh, there's a, a 510 connection with a 510 drip tip as well which you can screw in once you've got that in there you can actually um, use this to to turn that it's quite stiff on mine um, and I tend to run it sort of wide open anyway um, if you're actually after that this comes normally with the with the mesh drip tip uh, drip tip drip back uh, spit back oh god my mouth my my words are not coming out very well at all um, normally the spit back mesh guard sits inside that piece there you can just uh, you can just pull that out and uh, you can get rid of the uh, the mesh if you wish which I did because basically I didn't like the fact that it just uh, it just collected condensation in it and it stopped me from being able to drip through drip through the drip tip properly so I run mine with the uh, with the wide bore and it with it with this airflow here fully open as you can see these slots here um, 
these are dual two uh, ten millimeter, so they're ten millimeter that way and two millimeters across. Um, gives you plenty of airflow. Get rid of the little fight. It's a, it's a five ten uh, adapter with uh, with a with its own little metal drip tip as well, which I can't get. Oh, I can get out. There you go. So uh, you can fit any of your own drip tips in there if you so wish. Okay, let's just pop that back in the box for the time being. Okay, and uh, so what you would do is you get your your build in here. You've got plenty of room. You know, it's reasonably small deck, but you've got um, decent sort of sized uh, juice well as well. You just pop this on so that it's nice and square to the to the base, and then pop your top on as well. And you've got a square glass out. Of Obviously, that's a little bit wonky, but you can foodle about with it until you until you're ready and obviously you want to make sure that these these uh, airflow slots are sort of uh, adjacent to where your coils are so that the, the airflow is coming straight down from the top and onto the top of the coils there okay I'll open this up again as you can see, it's quite it's quite a tight build space. Uh, well, it's quite a tight space inside there, so it's quite a compact. Once you've got the lid on and everything, uh, when you've got the top cap on and everything, it's actually quite a condensed little chamber there. Um, you still need to sort of, in my opinion, you need to bring the coils up a little bit more than you would necessarily normally do, just so that they sit a little bit closer to those uh, to those um, overhead. Uh, airflow holes so that you've got you've got those close by so that you get as much flavor as you possibly can I found that if you if you uh, if you put your build too far down uh, towards the bottom there um, you lose you lose a little bit of flavor um, airflow wise you know it, it, it's not it's not a, um, a cloud chasing RDA by any means uh, but it is uh, you know uh, comfortable um, lung hit on it and uh, you do get some decent decent vapor and uh, if you build it like I said with the coils higher up um, then it will um, produce decent flavor okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to bung some uh, some uh, coils in this little little bugger and uh, get it all whipped up and everything and then we'll go uh, and then I'll see you back up top and uh, I'll go through the uh, pros and cons with you. Okay, see you in a bit. Welcome back guys. Uh, so, the uh, Ice Cubed by Watofo. Um, definitely designed for, for your sort of uh, square box mods doesn't look good at all on uh, a tube mod or anything like that so it's it's um, it's definitely something for a, for a more sort of a square device like I've got it on the uh, castigator here um, which is a parallel uh, mechanical box as a result um, the build I put in this uh, was a 1.5 uh, ohm sorry 1.5 0 0.15 ohm uh, nichrome 80 build which was um, six wraps around a three miller, uh, three millimeter uh, in the diameter, um, and it's producing uh, quite well. Now, um, if we go through the uh, cons first of all. Cons, I guess it's not going to be uh, everybody's cup of tea. It looks wise. It's not. It's not. Uh, not for everyone, I don't think. Um, you know, it, it's it's got the adjustable 510, which I didn't mention in the close-up. So you can actually sort of adjust the 510 and make sure that it fits nice and square on your on your uh, mod, so that it, it sort of it looks right. Um, but looks wise, mm, I'm kind of uh, indifferent about it. I d I don't I don't necessarily uh, don't necessarily um, want or need a square RDA. Um, I 
basically just bought this in for review because um, uh, a few people have been asking me what that what I thought of it and so I got one in just to just to take a look for you guys um, personally I think it looks a bit odd the glass uh, is is okay I mean it's 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 quite heat resistant you don't don't get particularly hot even with quite a low build on it like this um, so I mean you know it, it's it's decent in that way uh, the square base um, has scratched one of my uh, devices when I screwed it down on it um, and because it's uh, because it effectively is 30 mil across the the gouge that it made on the top of my RX 200 um, is visible because it's it's kind of one of the corners dug in as I was uh, uh, just screwing it down. The 510 pin on this is very long, so if you want to use it on a, a hybrid connection, you can. Although I've not seen many hybrid connections on on boxes, it tends to be more on your tubes. Excuse me, windy. Um, yes, it tends to be more on the sort of tube mods or the sort of more rounded mods. I've not, I've not really got anything that's got a hybrid uh, connection. Um, so you know, it, but it can use that. Um, the mesh spit back protection is, in my opinion, like so much of this spit back protection stuff, completely and utterly unnecessary, and actually just causes more problems than it actually solves because all it does all it serves to do is actually con uh, collect condensation in, in in the drip tip sort of on, on on that mesh and then eventually you end up just inhaling a load of condensed e-liquid and and water vapor so it, it's 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 a uh, another uh, kind of um, gimmicky thing that I really don't think is necessary. If you build the coils on this, it's like most things. Like I've said before, if you build correctly and you wick correctly, you don't need a spit back protection, in my opinion. And with this, you're building quite high and making sure that your coils are sitting underneath those uh, underneath those top airflow holes. So um, if you build it right, if you're building it right for the Atty anyway, you don't really need a spit back protection. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of a pointless thing, and I just whipped it out virtually straight away. I, I tried it for like about ten minutes with with the mesh in there, and I really just really didn't like it at all. Um, much the same as uh, as the uh, the Cthulhu Hasta V2. Um, just ended up with with moisture uh, building up in there and it ended up in all sort of going into my gob anyway so uh yeah yeah that's that's not a not a great idea and i don't i don't really think i mean it's it's okay because you can just take that that inner uh, sort of airflow section out once you've taken that out you can actually remove remove the uh, mesh without without much effort at all really so um it is a con but it is it is sort of fixable in my opinion quite easily um, you didn't have to cut anything like it did on the Hasta. Uh, so um, that's pretty much it on the on the con side of things, really. Uh, pros, it, it it does produce extremely good flavour. Uh, the vapor's decent. Um, as as long as you build those coils reasonably high up to 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 where the airflow comes in, um, I think if you if you keep it keep the coils quite low it tends to mute the flavor a little bit and you don't get quite as much as much flavor as you would expect um, whether the glass actually makes any difference to to the flavor I doubt it to be honest uh, I mean it's a good it's a good small condensed chamber and so and so the flavor on it is is decent um, it's very good in fact uh, the wide bore drip tip that comes with it is is uh, just just the right kind of size and diameter for me. Um, it's certainly a comfortable um, comfortable to use. Um, the fact that it comes with a 510 
uh, adapter and a 510 drip tip is, is excellent. Uh, the packaging is decent. The amount of spares that you get again is decent. Um, you, what you would really expect from Watofo or any of the uh, sort of uh, Chinese manufacturers who are making these uh, these sort of um, low priced uh, authentic RDAs, uh, they, they just bung in shed loads of spares. Um, and obviously, as I said in the close up, it comes with uh, the clear clear uh, O-rings, top and bottom, um, as standard. Uh, you can also swap it out for red or blue. Um, it would have been nice if they'd have put black ones in as well, maybe, but perhaps that's just being uh, a little bit nitpicky. Um, but on the whole, it, it's a decent, it's a decent little RDA. It hasn't really set my uh, world on fire. I don't think it's. Um, it would. It's certainly, as I said before, it's certainly. It wasn't. It wasn't an RDA that I was going to buy um, myself until I heard a few people asking what I thought of it, and uh, then I thought, well, I'll get one and uh, we'll give it a bit of a review and and see what we th what we think. Um, I like the fact that the uh, the. This is, because of the way that the airflow works, um, you can get this much more square onto a square um, uh, mod, uh, unlike the original um, Watofo cubed, uh, which had sort of um, side airflow, and as a result, it was tricky to to get it to sit properly square and and get the airflow hitting the coils as it should do. Um, overall. It's a decent little RDA, decent flavour, decent vapour. Um, it's not going to suit everybody, the look of it. Um, the fact that you can see your build um, may be a disadvantage to some if your builds are particularly ugly. Um, it's it's good in one respect because you can actually see you can actually see where the wicks are, have got have got juice on them, and especially if you're using um, a a sort of a darker juice like I've got in here at the moment I've got the uh, Yorkshire Vapors uh, custard donut and that's sort of a yellowy color so I can actually see the see the uh, the state of my wicks and stick and see how how uh, juiced they are um, with it being a velocity and top airflow you can literally just splooge a load of juice down the down the uh, chuff top there at uh, chuff style top and um, just bung in loads of loads of liquid if you put a if you put in too much you will you will get a certain amount of suck back uh, spit back from from the the base basically just the juice just shooting straight up um but obviously you know you, you can put in a fair a fair decent amount in there and you can get a decent amount of cotton in there as well um so it's basically it's 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 one of those one of those um kind of marmite RDAs I think you're either going to love the look of it or you're going to hate it um, personally I'm not overly enamored of it I think it is a bit a bit gimmicky and a bit a bit weird uh, I think I probably would have preferred it if it was just round um, with you know maybe with the glass uh, but you know it's it's it does look decent on a on a on a square box mod um, but overall, uh, it's it, it's a solid RDA. If you're in the market for a for a, a top airflow uh, RDA that looks a little bit different, isn't the isn't sort of uh, just like yeah every you know all the other stuff that's kicking about. Uh, you want something that looks a little bit different to the uh, say for instance the uh, Sapor by Watofo or uh, the Aeolus. Uh, any of the Aeolus that use the uh, top airflow. If you want something that looks a little bit, a little bit more quirky, goes with a square box mod, then this could be the RDA for you. Personally, I'm not really that bothered about it one way or the other. Um, I'm certainly, you know, not disappointed in the flavour or the vapour that comes off it. But generally speaking, it's, it's. I don't like the fact that it's limit. It is limited to what I can put on it. If I try and put it on anything that's even slightly rounded, it just looks ridiculous. Um, it didn't look very good on the RX two hundred. It doesn't. It looks ridiculous on a tube mod. Um, the Segeli, uh my Segeli one fifty watt TC. It looks ridiculous on that because that's got the rounded edge to it. 
so unless you're going to be putting it on a square box mod, it's going to look pretty pretty naff. But then I guess that's what it's designed for. Okay, well, um, not not a glowing report, but um, still still a thumbs up. I think in general, it's it's still a a decent RDA, and certainly if if it's something that that you like the look of and that you're thinking about buying, you won't go far wrong with it. It does produce good vapor. It does good, produce uh, great flavor. Um, the fact that it's got the RD, uh, the uh, Velocity uh, de style deck on there makes it extremely simple to build on. Uh, just remember to build those coils reasonably high so that they're, they're just below the, the uh, top airflow intake so that you get a nice uh, dense vapor and lots of flavor. Um, so we'll leave it there. Um, if you've liked the video, pre please press the like button. If you want to see more from me, as usual, click on the old subscribe button and uh, I'll be bringing you more videos as soon as I've got uh, something else to review. I think the next thing that I'm going to be looking at will be the Tugboat V3 and that'll be in the next day or so. Um, I just need to put in a few more builds uh, just to, you know, just to get my final thoughts uh, situated on that. But uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.